Hi, I'm Jason Hallecker. And I'm Al Bourgeois. And tonight we are in lovely Bath County and we're working with a species of bird called woodcock. Now, our staff members are some of the most passionate wildlife enthusiasts out there, passionate biologists out there, uh, but Al kind of takes the cake. You retired, but you love this project so much you came back on again. Um, and so tonight I'm really excited to be here with you uh, to, to experience this project. And uh, so first of all, a lot of people don't know what a woodcock is. Tell us what a woodcock is. Okay, it's a, it's a small bird about the size of a robin, has a long bill. It's a, it is a game bird. People hunt them. A lot of sportsmen enjoy that because they hold well for a dog. But it's also people enjoy them in the springtime in particular when they do their mating dance, which is called the sky dance. And they, uh, it's an elaborate ritual that a lot of people love to go out and see in the springtime, and it's a harbinger of spring. So uh, it's raining. Yes. It's not the best weather. Why did you drag us out here on a rainy night? Well, I'm beginning to wonder myself, but there's a couple of reasons. Um, the birds don't like to fly as much in the rain, so it facilitates us being able to net them. Um, they respond better to lights in, in dark, rainy nights. Um, and they fly to fields at night. They spend the day in the woods and brushy thickets and f uh, wood edges, but they fly for security reasons to fields at night that helps trapping uh, and catching them there. Well, this is really exciting and uh, I can't wait to get out there, so let's get started. Yeah, this, this should be fun. It's a good night. Hopefully we'll find a lot of birds. Okay, let's do this. Good. Ready to lunge? You got him! All right! Great catch, Pat. Here, I'll try to get a light on the other bird. You want the picture? You're good. Keep the net on him till I'm. Beep, beep. Now, let me see. That's a new bird. Okay, Al, so. We've got a bird in hand here. Yes. Um, what kind of data will we be collecting? And uh, tell us a little bit about the transmitters. All right, we're going to be um, collecting data on the uh, bill length, the uh, sex and age. Bill length allows us to know if it's male or female. Uh, the weather ca feather characteristics also tell us that, so we're going to be taking some measurements there. And then we're going to be taking some morphological measurements, uh, tarsus length total leg length, um, things like that, so we can compare birds range-wide across the nation. This study has been uh, including, I think, 14 states now, a lot of New England states, Canadian provinces, and uh, Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, and then in the south, it's uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. So we're trying to get a good idea of migration ecology with these birds, where they're spending the winter, where they're spending uh, you know, the rest of the year in their northern range. This is a beautiful female uh, bird. It'll be a lot bigger than maybe some of the birds that we, we look at later. And tell us about the transmitter that you're gonna put on. All right, I'm gonna put on a GPS transmitter. Um, and what that allows us to do is we program it however we want, whenever we want it to take a signal. Right now, I think during the beginning of migration, we're taking one every two days, and it sends it up to the Argos satellite, and then we can download that data and send it to our computer and get a pinpoint accuracy where that bird came from. Um, later in the December, it'll switch to getting a location once it's on the wintering ground. It'll give us a location every five days. Try to save battery life. Um, these birds um, are small. The transmitters are even smaller. You'll see that when we put them on. So there's not a lot of battery life there. So we try to get as many locations. A female like this, I'll be able to get 120 locations out of that. On a male, who's a lot smaller, we'll only get 75 or so before the battery will die. Good morning. Wow, we had an epic night last night, didn't we, Al? Yeah, it was awesome. We caught more birds than we've ever caught before. We caught seven birds in less than two hours. The um, night was rainy, the birds 
reacted very well to the lights and we had an awesome crew so it was a good night. Now this bird you have here is a, is a unique one. What's, what's uh, going on with this little fella? Yeah, this bird I caught last April um, out here on a singing ground where he was displaying. We caught him in a mist net. I put a radio on. That radio was still active, but it was the battery life was getting low. So we took the old radio off. Everything looked great. We put a new one on, and he's good for another eight months. Awesome. Well, now we get to do the best part. We get to release him. Right. So on the count of three, off they go. One, two, three. Wow. Magic. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and remember to go outdoors, Virginia.